What's up guys, Zach Perna here, and in today's video, I show you what I do to get ready for a photo shoot. Alright, to give you guys a little bit of context, um, I have a photo shoot in two days now, so not tomorrow, but the next day. And I thought I want to take you guys through what I do to prepare for one in terms of like my carbs, water, tan, haircut. There's a lot. There's a lot that goes into it that I didn't even consider. So I'll try to take you guys with me on everything and show you how I prep for it. So haircut today, food shopping for all the carbs, and um, probably getting rid of all the body hairs. Or I might do that tomorrow. We'll see how we go. Anyway, I'm off the gym. I'm going to tear my back off the bone. So I guess uh, we'll see you there. All right guys, so it is Sunday today and it is back day. Still haven't recovered from the last two busy weekends, but the back isn't gonna train itself. So today we're gonna train some lower back, um, do different variations of pull downs, rows, and little rest time. So we're gonna make it as intense as we can. Let's do it. So back is done. Currently outside the barbers, um, about to go in for a haircut. I haven't had a haircut. It feels like ages. It feels like it's been a month, but I did said think it's been about two weeks. So that's bad for me. Usually I get a haircut every like every three hours. I try and get a haircut at best. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's always a photo shoot must, and generally just a fortnightly thing for me. So I'm gonna go get this fixed because this is this is way too long. Uh, I'm gonna get a zero fade. That's what I normally get, and might get a little bit off the top. We'll see how we go. Anyway, you guys will find out, I guess. World's quickest haircut in three, two, one. And the haircut is complete, and that was about five seconds. Efficiency. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm still trying to sort my life out a little bit. Um, I've gotta book the, the tan in for tomorrow night, and I've gotta buy some foods as well, because we're carving up. So we're gonna to need to eat a little bit more carbs. I had a chat to Wes. Uh, he wants me having pancakes on the day of the shoot. Happy days. And we're gonna increase the carbs for tomorrow, so the day before the shoot. Uh, about an extra 360 grams on top of my normal carb intake. And I'll get that from potatoes, sweet potatoes, rice, um, the, the works. So that'll be good. Hi, I'm just wondering if I can book in a spray tan for tomorrow night, please. Nice. Yep. Awesome. Done. And now the only thing I have left to do is go to the shops, get all my food, and then tomorrow I'll cook it all. So let's go pick up some food. Good morning guys, what's going on? It is the day before the shoot and I'm feeling a little bit flat. I've just been doing some pump work down in the gym. I thought I'd take you guys through that just quickly as well just to show what I've been doing to get ready for the carbs today. So today is the carb up, it's my main carb up today. We're not doing anything too crazy in terms of like water and sodium. Um, reason being is that way too many people like when they're doing shoots or trying to do like peak week look, they like go either crazy on water loading, then crazy cutting it, adding all the salt and taking it away. It's like doing this stuff that they've never done before, and then they look really soft. So you're risking so much just to get 5% benefit, and you could look a lot worse. So you could look 90% worse just for a little bit gain. So usually, if you're lean enough, you don't need to do too much. All you gotta do is make sure that you, you make sure you lean in the first place, and then you can increase carbs, and you can play around and tweak a few things. But for me, I'm not as lean as I'd like to be, but I'm not stepping on stage. It's just a photo shoot, so I don't need to be absolutely diced. Sometimes it looks a bit too, a bit too crazy. But either way, um, what we're doing today is, so I'm probably tripling my carb intake. So that's why I got all the stuff yesterday. I'm having all the starch carbs today. So Wes wants me having all the sweet potato, rice and stuff today, which is good. And then I'll be having some sugars tomorrow, so the pancakes before the shoot. But uh, in order to get the carbs to be like driven into the muscles, I always like to do a bit of a pump up sesh. So today was meant to be my rest day, but instead I'll just be doing um, a bit of upper body supersets of everything. So what I like to do is choose, you know, four to five exercises and just superset them all in a big like giant set. And that way you actually get, all you do is get a pump basically. You're not like trying to exhaust or fatigue the muscle, you're just trying to get a big pump. And that way the nutrients are kind of primed to get into the muscle cell where you want them. You're not just gonna eat a bunch of carbs and then go, great, they're all in my feet. Um, <laughs> don't think that's a thing, but you never know. Could be. So um, yeah, so what I've been doing is, that's why I've got a little bit of a pump now. I've just been doing some um, upper body supersets. So I'll show you what I've been doing. All 
All right, so finally it is carb time. I'll show you what we got today. So this is all the carbs I'm having today, basically. Uh, we'll start off with a pack of rice. So this has about 70 grams of carbs, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you don't need to add any sauces to it. That's why I like it, because it tastes mint. And then we've also got about 850 grams of the sweet potato. Check them. So this, I've put a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, paprika, the favorite. This is like my all time. So I'm saving this for dinner, but I'm just getting them ready now. So we'll bake them um, when it's time to consume. So this is like in addition to my normal meals, the carbs that is. So we'll have the chicken with potatoes. Boom, check that. Crispy AF white potato. So altogether, this will be 850 sweet potato about 850 white potato. I might have used a kilo actually, it uh, doesn't really matter. And we've also got this bag of rice too. So in total, by the end of the day, my total carbs should be around 360. Uh, we're not going too overboard on the day before, so there's no point overdoing it, because then I'll wake up tomorrow looking a little bit watery. So you'd rather stay a little bit more depleted in, and then like spill over. Um, but either way, this is pretty heavenly, so I'm excited for this. This will keep me full later on. Oh. The crunch is real. I'm gonna smash this down now and then I guess it will be time to remove the body hairs before the tan. So before we get the tan, it is tradition to remove the body hairs. So we'll get, we'll get old mate Mr. Shave coming out to play. He'll be handy and um, let's just put a little bit on. Nothing too over the top, uh, just, a, just a slight touch up is all. And look, that should pretty much do it guys. I mean, I wanna, I don't wanna go too crazy on it, um, but if there is a single hair left on my body, I want it gone and I want rid of it now. And this is what you guys have to do if you want to be a fitness model or bodybuilder is you've got to get rid of every single hair until you become a monk. Um, or that just might be me. I don't know. <laughs> this is insane. Anyway, let's get rid of all this, all this shit and uh, go get a tan. Nope. Not too black, it's kind of like my normal color in summer. Um, I just get it to smooth over the skin because um, sometimes it can look a little bit patchy. And if you've got tan lines as well, there's that. So usually it's just like a photo shoot ritual that I like to do. You don't have to get a tan, but it definitely helps. And don't just think like tan is in full black. Like check out what I look like on my first comp. Like there, that tan was, um, that was black. And that's what they said the judges wanted. I'm like, yeah, right. But anyway, this is like, this is my pre photo shoot tan, and, um, and then in 90 minutes, you wash it off, so it gets even lighter than this. This is like the darkest it'll ever be for now. And then, uh, and then it goes into kind of a smooth color and you wash it off a little bit. But, but yeah, that's it. I try to only get tans around shoots and I guess some expos, because it's a bit disgusting when you the smell and everything, you know. Anyway, I've got one more carb left for me today and um, bring on the pancakes. So just getting home now, I've had to jump in the shower and get rid of this layer of weird tan. This bronzer that seems to just rub off on everything. Uh, and then I'm gonna get my last carb meal in, slowly cut water tonight. So I'm just gonna drink a little bit less from about 8 p.m. onwards, uh, leading into tomorrow, which I'll actually just not drink uh, like a lot of water at all. I'll try to cut water tomorrow as much as I can. I'm, I'm pretty hydrated today, so I'm not gonna get dehydrated. My muscles are still gonna be full, hopefully. And that is a plan of attack. So we will see you in the morning for some pancakes, and I am excited. Ooh, it is. Pancake time. So I'm actually way too excited. It is 7 a.m. Not even 7 a.m. Barely slept last night because I was too excited about the breakfast. It deserved breakfast. Feeling a little bit thirsty today. That's like the only thing I'm thinking. It's gonna be a long day <laughs> because I'm not planning on drinking too much water. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that works out for you. Hopefully I don't uh, die of dehydration. Uh, excuse me. I'm just gonna go and have a drink. Right. On a good note, I could eat some pancakes. Obviously very generous with the pouring. Oh, this looks insane. I've been looking forward to this literally all week. Oh, so good. That is heaven. So I think this whole thing should be 
<clears throat> I'd estimate around 200 carbs, but they sit really well, so you don't really get bloated. And we've got a lot of sugars here as well. So I'm gonna smash the rest of these down now, <clears throat> and I'll check in with you guys soon to see, see how I'm feeling after this sugar crush. I might be in a food coma. We'll see. I'm actually so tired, I'm struggling. The sugars hit me hard. Like I was sitting on my couch before and I just collapsed. I was just slowly falling into the, falling victim to the sugar comas. But um, but I'm feeling pretty good. So this is when I ate pancakes T minus one hour ago and um, I'm feeling still pretty like, pretty tight, which is good. Um, abs coming through a little bit. I always look the best first thing in the morning, like before water. Then, like, as the day goes on, I start to look worse, so that's why the plan for today is hold off on the waters as long as possible. Yeah, triceps going slightly pigeon mode with some new feathers. That's, that's new for me, this cut. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool to see. Some weird details there in the arms. Pancake pumps! <laughs> If only that could be my pre-workout meal on the daily, even though I wouldn't have any energies because of the sugar comments, but um, I get to the gym and I just collapse. But worth it, look good. So we're just finishing up. This is location number four for today's shoot with Jake OD. Uh, it's been pretty good, so far so good. Yes, he's done a good job at making me look half okay. I hope, I haven't seen the photos yet, but hopefully they're all right. Uh, check this location out, this is Min. So we're gonna finish up now and then I'll get a little feed after this. So see you guys soon. And the shoot is done and dusted. Woke up this morning, felt great. I had that much water yesterday as soon as it finished. I was so thirsty. That's like the only thing I wanted was just heaps of waters, just all the waters. Um, all the waters, all the salts, filled up nicely and um, woke up this morning looking even better. So it's one of those things where you can't like really time it that that perfectly it's sometimes you'll nail it then you might wake up the next day and look even better but you don't want to risk it so I'm happy with how it turned out uh, what do you guys reckon here's one of the shots that he sent me I think it's pretty cool uh, it's a different look uh, for what I'm doing it's, it wasn't a shoot for Gymshark or anything it was just a just a personal one I wanted to work with Jake for a while so I wanted to knock out a few shots it's a good style um, something a little different but there's one thing that I don't think I did get in this video and that's Bear. Bear say hi to your biggest fans these people keep you fed <laughs> but we did hope you enjoyed that video and took something out of it whether you want to look really dry for a day have a photo shoot just look shredded for a festival <laughs> whatever your go is um, I hope it you took something out of it and it worked for you but um but otherwise that is it from us that's all we've got for you today um, say hi Beth make sure you like the video leave a comment of hey don't lick my fingers stop leave <laughs> leave a comment in the comment section below of what food challenge you guys want to see next because I'm planning on doing one but I can't decide what it is. Either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And um, otherwise, that is it from me, and you guys know what to do. Tell them, man. Stay nice.